chicken tacos on a Friday night. Um, I've just done about half of the chicken and um, shredded it and now I got it going in some uh, chicken taco seasoning. So yep, it's going to be a chicken taco night and then the other half of that chicken I don't know what I'm going to do with. I'll figure that out after I chow down on some tacos. Oh yeah, I'm going to be having chicken tacos for a few days. And I can use the bones and make some chicken broth also. I'll be doing that. Alright, time to eat. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Monday. It's like 72 degrees, uh, partially cloudy, wonderful outside. We had a little bit of a cold dip this weekend. I took the weekend off from, uh, from doing videos. Sorry about the dishwasher noise. I forgot about that. Um, I just built a book bookshelf. Home preserving. Got it. Pickling. Oh, got it. And then my Peterson guide <laughs> to wildflowers and National Audubon Society field guide to butterflies. Good enough for now. Now, let's watch the video of me building this bookshelf. Here's another project I did this weekend but I didn't film it. I put this microwave cart together and that is a microwave on the bottom and uh, that middle that middle one that slides in and out so that's pretty cool and then I've got my toaster oven on top for now and it's right underneath my Berkey and um, electric water kettle so yeah why is the microwave on the bottom and the toaster oven on top I have not used a microwave in two years so I've been good without it and um, I use the toaster to make toast all the time for you know fried egg sandwiches so for right now uh, yeah I'll just um, see how long I can make it without the microwave I've done pretty good uh, I do use the toaster oven more often and I like the toaster oven on top because now I can set that kettle on top of the toaster oven and fill it with water so I don't have to stand there holding it all the time. I was going to put a trash can and then my broom and mop stuff like that back there but this just seems to fit so perfectly that that's what I'm going to do for now and I'll find another place for those. Uh, the one thing I still there's still a couple electrical projects I need to do one is to uh, move an outlet um, on the wall behind the refrigerator so I can plug the refrigerator into there. Once that's done then that'll free up the uh, the outlet in the corner for the 
uh, for the microwave and the toaster oven. But yeah, for right now, and then I don't know, that middle that middle one slides out, which is that's pretty cool. Let's look at that real quick. Yeah, so that slides out, and I'll figure out something for that, too. So thank you once again to the uh, person who gifted me the microwave and the microwave cart, and uh, thanks again to Drew for trading me uh, toaster ovens. All right, pretty cool. I got uh, the microwave cart set up, and a, this is a bookcase for probably cooking, cookbooks, cooking guides, stuff like that. Um... There will probably be other bookcases. I don't have a ton of books, uh, but I I might be acquiring some. Actually, I do have a ton of books. Priscilla, my sister, gave me a ton of books. Now that I think about it, they're still sitting in a closet at the relative's house. I don't have a lot of space, so I need to make more bookshelves. This is just leftover, leftover uh, pieces of wood. Um, that were used, these are seven inchers, so where were they used at? I don't even remember. Where do we use, oh, on the end caps, and anyway, these were just, um, leftover pieces, and there's only the one stud here, so I used the thicker L brackets, one on top, one on the bottom, and I, I don't know, not the best looking thing in the world, but it is functional, and it's right here by the front door. So yeah, like the you know the field guide, I can grab that really quick. And things are just handy right here. I can probably reach the cookbooks from the other side of the kitchen wall here. And yeah, I'm happy with my bookshelf for now. And hey, if it's ugly and I hate it, I can take it down. There's only four screws in the wall. All right. Grumpy, you can't have my taco, Grumpy. It's a leftover anyway. Get your face out of my food. Grumpy. Neighbor's got a couple of escapees. Same too. What are you going to do? And I've got a couple of escapees of my own. Where are you at? Yeah, these three sisters. Number two hatched. Yeah, yeah. Number two hatched them out um, earlier this spring. These are Oliveager, Oliveagers back crossed to a Welsomer. So they are 50% chance of green eggs, 50% chance of brown eggs. They are due to start laying any day now, and they're just beautiful birds. Very similar to Welsomers. Um, just enough, of, especially that one, you can tell the difference. She's got a little uh, tough sideburns going on. All right, ladies, I'll feed you. You can go back in your chicken run. Number two. Are you escaping the babies already? No, you're just up here begging for food. I'll bring you some food. All eight of them are doing great. I can still tell all of them apart. Although the older they get, that uh, that's the white and true blue. Yay. Those two are um, olive eggers. And these three, well, those two are number twos. Yeah, those two are number twos biological. And there's another one that looks like them. All right, I'll quit gawking at the babies and go get you your food. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, they're getting bigger. Grumpy found a sunny spot on a box. Typical cat. Alright, I got my nap in. It's almost dark, so that's going to be it for this Monday. 
Yeah, that uh, those chicken tacos were awesome. I did about half of the chicken with the chicken tacos. And the other half, uh, I bet I'm going to figure that out tonight. I don't know if I'm going to do more, uh, more of the taco seasoning. Or I've got some, um, well, I could do buffalo or not. Yeah, I've got buffalo sauce. I could do some buffalo chicken wraps. Or I got some barbecue sauce. I could do some barbecue chicken wraps. Yeah, that's what I do with meat a lot. Is it's uh, it's not it's an ingredient. It's not a, it's not like I do a steak or a pork chop or a chicken breast and along with some side dish. I I typically use meat as an ingredient and to make it last longer and to be more frugal. All right, enough mumbling around. Hopefully this will be a short uh, Monday video for you. I will see you tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow. Well, I do have some idea. I need to I need to do laundry. So, I don't know if that will be tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll find out. I kind of play it by ear when I wake up in the morning. So, thanks for watching. Hope everybody is having a wonderful start to their week. And take care easy, everybody.